can you, in the most basic sense of the word, snuff out the competition? Can you squeeze the life out of someone, looking in their eyes as their soul starts to flicker? Mom always said I had a cast iron stomach.
toilet filled up with shit. <sighs> I fucking hate you sometimes, man. <sighs> Call it D-Day for all intents and purposes. Today we purchase an 18 gram glass of LSD. Acid. Lysergic diethylamide. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Whatever your preferred nomenclature may be. Eight grams of LSD is equivalent to 80,100 microgram doses. The street value of a single hit would be $10, totaling about $800,000 when all is said and done. Although our profit would decrease in wholesale purchases, Sold as is, a low maintenance foray, no need to, you know, step on it. Today we take steps towards acquiring that elusive nest egg, and in turn, Lady Liberty and the economy can thank us. Wait, really? morning. Yeah, good morning. Coffee? Yes, please. How are you feeling? Better than you, obviously. I don't feel too bad. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm. Well, 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 what do we have here? Good morning, guys. Rise and shine. This is your one and only wake up call. You better slide out of here nice and slow, because if Layla finds out, she is going to lose her shit. Yeah, I'm 10 feet away. I already know. Oh, so, good morning, May. Please put some clothes on. So this other guy at the table starts saying about this dick tattoo on his ankle, right? And I'm like, dude, I got a dick tattoo too. But he calls bullshit. So I look my shirt up to him, and we just bond it right there. So we actually start rooting eyes together. You know what I mean? Like, as in our dick. As in our tattoos at the table. Hey, I mean, the dude literally propped his leg up to rub dick tattoos. Hey, so then the waiter First walks off, up. I'm hungry, like, first of all. Second of all, you got a dick tattoo. Third of all, how many times have we heard the story? Over and over and over and over and like over. Like 547 million goddamn times, and we still don't know the point of the story. The point of the story is that you should go on the crew. You know, you really don't have to be through it to hear it just too nuanced for you to hear it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We are completely glossing over the fact that you paid another human being to tattoo a dick on your body. Now, let's, let's think about the choices that went into that. You know, Beck, that was really rude what you just said. And I didn't pay the guy to do a dick tattoo on my body. Oh my god. I let him do it for practice. So it really didn't cost me a buff from a nickel. Honestly, Stevie, I don't care. I'm just glad you didn't reference your dick tattoo to that dick pic that I saw you got. Boy, that thing was tattooed. Nice. <laughs> okay, that's not funny. Second thing is, I was a baby, alright? I was a baby, so it doesn't matter, okay? I was a child, dude. That doesn't count. I was a baby. That was baby Stevie Dick. Not grown man Stevie Dick. Dude, to be fair, hey, can I get some more coffee, please? Dude, Absolutely. Like a little pellet, dude. It's got to even pee on that. <laughs> Wait, did you scissor her? How is this scissor? <laughs> Steve, that might be the dumbest thing you've ever asked me in your goddamn life. Of course I says it, man. <laughs> Double that. At least one of us got something out last night. You know what I mean? Okay, I, I can you hear would... you. Literally, I'm about five feet away, so I don't know why you would just Babe, assume I'm so sorry. that I can't. Yeah, you're sorry. You literally have a beautiful woman here making you guys coffee this morning, but you can't even acknowledge it. Oh. They bring out the work to me. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> No Keep laughing. Keep no laughing. Said it was funny, lady. You're laughing. No said it was funny. You're literally laughing. I 
get it, Layla. No one's as cool as you. We know, thank you. We are very aware of that fact, but I don't think you're aware the clap is alive and well in the face of gonorrhea, my friend. Enjoy your oh. coffee. Thanks, baby. Dude, we're caught up in it this morning, Jesus. Are you nervous? I know, honey. I know, I'm just overthinking it. I mean, it seems so silly and trivial to think back to when I was young. Baby, I was the kid running around saying, I want to be an astronaut. I mean, whatever happened to that kid? If only he could have looked into the future and seen that I'd have been better off punching a fucking time card until I pine away. No. I mean, look, thank God you're not scamming people for a few bucks anymore. <laughs> you are right about that, God. Thank fucking God I won't have to go back to that travesty again. Jeez, that was awful. Good afternoon, ma'am. We are here to talk to you about the most magnificent pill on the market. It is called Ponce de Leon's Fountain of Youth. Now, one pill a day will keep those wrinkles away. <laughs> It's a de-aging formula that has taken Hollywood by storm. Keith Richards uses it all the time, and he looks great. I'm actually 80, but I look young. You could look young as shit, too, if you buy some of Ponce de Leon's Fountain of Youth Juice. The mystical taste of you. Yeah, I think we all know. That was bad. And, you know, I'm so, so happy and appreciative that I'll, I'll always have you, too. Oh, I like it when you're sweet to me. What are you talking about? I'm always sweet to you. I compliment you on your smile, your confidence, that bow-legged walk of yours, that cute little birthmark on your right butt cheek <laughs> that kind of resembles Ronald uh, Reagan. You love my butt. That's what I'm saying. I love your butt. I love you. But I can't wait for the day that we get on that plane and get out of here. That's a flight I don't want to miss. Well, have you told them we're leaving Lancaster yet? <laughs> no. No, and I'm definitely not going to burden them with that noise. Less is more, my dear. Less is more. Look, I get it, but it is what it is, and worrying isn't going to change it, okay? I love you. Everything is going to go great. I've always needed to fuck up to remind myself to reset and start making progress again. Any opportunity to get ahead will make a desperate man move his ethos to the side. Layla tells me that I have to learn to forgive myself for my past faults. But my faults are stacked bricks from what once was, laid one at a time. She is the cornerstone. Layla is far from a perfect human being. But she is absolutely 100% perfect for me. 
Now, Jamie, on the other hand. Well, obviously, I'm not here to see you. Where's my mama? Your mama's fine. I don't know what she's worried about. Hey, mama. 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 What you trying to do to that boy? You know, you just can't barge in here anytime you want to. I seen you took some money out of her account, too. Don't think I didn't see that. Are you kidding me? You sweet old mama. You ought to be ashamed. Are you kidding me? What do you want? What are you mad about? Afraid I'm going to take your little meal ticket away? Is that what you're worried about? When's the last time you paid for shit around here anyway? Mind your own business and let me see my mama, please. You better watch your ass, boy. Kurt, come out here and whip your ass. Kurt? Uncle Kurt? Fuck that mess headed bastard. Tell him to come over here, I'll fuck him up. You think he's gonna put the pipe down long enough to save this story? Stop! Stop! Everything I'm I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry. I gotta deal with this every time I come over here. Everything is fine. Right? It's fine. Lisa, would you please get the fuck out of here and let me have a moment with my mama, please? You can bitch about me as soon as I leave. Just give me one moment with my mother, if you don't mind. You better be gone when I get back, or I'll call your uncle. He can still whip your ass. Please, Carly, please. Come. Hey, Mama, you want to come over here and help me? Finally, the time with my mama. Sorry about all that, Mama. I hate, I hate for you to hear all that. Hey, David. When's the Halloween dance start? Now, Mama, I'm not my dad, but I appreciate the compliment. But look, with that smile, I'm sure you can get plenty of invites to the dance. There it is. There it is. You know, you look just like an old boyfriend of mine, David. But he's too young to have a kid your age. Maybe you know him. Are you okay? You look upset. You look sad. No, I'm, I'm fine, Mama. I'm fine. It'll be a lot better once we get you out of this place and away from that witch in there. Beverly Hillbillies is on. I love me some clampets. It's so funny. Don't you love them? Not as much as you, Mama, but I do enjoy it. <laughs> I see that. So what episode are we on right now? It's one of them where Jethro falls in love. She has primary progressive multiple sclerosis. It's a type of MS. In a nutshell, your immune system, for whatever fucking reason, decides to attack your brain and spinal cord. Some people have flare-ups and then are able to get themselves back to normal. Her condition, on the other hand, started off gradual and then got worse over time. She started having balance issues, just a little wobbly when walking or standing for a long time. But then one day, she was driving and forgot her way home. A cop had to bring her back. She had to use a cane, and eventually we had to force her into a wheelchair. One day she woke up and forgot who Jamie was. Jamie once told me that it felt like dying, but without your mother mourning you. trying to grab that squeezy. Hey, it's Tickly Terry trying to grab that <laughs> berry. <laughs> well, yo, what the fuck, Stevie? What's up? What's up? I've been waiting on you for like a fucking hour, man. Sure, bro, I got stuck in traffic. See, your ass doesn't even fucking drive. What are you talking about, traffic? I know your ass walked here. No, the movie Traffic. Oh, shit. All right, motherfucker. Well, come on inside, man. I made you some clam chowder. 
kick the door behind you, man. Uh, what's up, fucking assholes? These dicks right here don't know how to open the door for anybody. Real hospitable voice. Real hospitable. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it! You're ignorant! Oh, shit. Damn, dog, you got the place looking tight these days. Tighter than squirrel pussy, Stevie. Tighter than a squirrel's pussy. But look, man, hey, uh, I got shit to do today, you know what I'm saying? Making me late and shit. But look, man, what you need, what you need? I got weed, I got pills, I got them $13 bills. Hey, yo, I also got, uh, got this new fucking, uh, this Dreamcast, you know, old shits. Making a comeback, Steve. Swear to fucking God. I don't know, man. Dollars. I don't really, uh... Make it, boy, holler. I don't really play any games. You know, people spend over, like, 329 hours and 29 minutes a year playing video games. I don't have time for that noise. I barely got time to meditate. Or cook ramen. Yeah, yeah, well, uh... How about them rocks, Stevie? You, uh... Maybe you want to, uh... Get a little bit of the methamphetamine that'll pick me up today, huh? I'm good, man. You know how to mess with that crazy stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand, man. I understand. I understand you a bitch. You don't, you don't fuck with that. But trust me, dog. One of these days, I'm gonna talk you into it, man. And trust me, dog. You, you don't like this shit. You don't like it. I know, man, dude. Everything has been like top notch, primo lately. You know, Bud's been a killer. I had some Molly a couple of nights ago. Where I see like my soul, eat my body, and shit. You know what I'm saying? I hear you, man. I hear. You. I heard that shit through the grapevine, man. But oh, listen, listen. Yeah. Enough with the chit chat. And you want the gat or net? Alright, 120. Yeah, 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 120, 120. Well, uh, yeah, that's great, Stevie. Except for, uh, I'm pretty sure I said 150. You. 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 So how about for a minute, we'll pretend like, uh, you thought I said 120, and, uh, I'll pretend like, I don't know, maybe, uh, selling you a gun isn't the fucking dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. Cough up the money, Stevie. Show me the rest of that money. Show me the money, Stevie. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Terry McGuire right here, motherfucker. <laughs> Follow me this way, dog. Follow me this oh. way. Now, look, I'm gonna have you kick it in here with these fucking clowns. And I'm gonna go get your shit. I'll be right back. Stevie has always had a hard time blending in with society. People are like these big corporations. They spend millions of dollars on commercials about them raising thousands of dollars for charity. What's this, Die Hard? Stevie is the one true outlier. Most people try to project themselves to what they think others want them to be. Normal people seem to be this. So, Badger, the weather's uh, pretty satisfactory today, wouldn't you say? Are you really asking about the weather? Who the hell cares about the weather, Stevie? Whoever came up with that conversation starter needs to rot. Now, unless there's a damn Category 7 hurricane outside, I don't give a flying 747 fuck, all right? Thankfully for Stevie, being normal is the last thing he'd ever want to be. So, Carl, you're real blunt, huh? Stevie, I'd roll your ass in the brown down the hill. And, bro, you know my name's not Carr. Who in the fuck would name the kid Carr? It's Carl. Carl. Emphasis on that. Come on, bro, I've known for like seven years. And you still are calling me car? You know what? Guess what? Guess? I want you to guess. Guess what? Go fuck yourself, Stevie. You know you guys really wouldn't be saying that Jamie was you. Jamie can go fuck himself too. How is Jamie, by the way?
don't get. You know I ain't mean that shit, bro. No, no, I ain't mean that shit. All right, here we go, my friend. Be careful with that, Speedy. It's a state of the art fucking piece right there. Shit, badass, bro. Bro, 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 hey, no, she, that, no, 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 no
yourself stating, yeah. where did you get this at? Are you kidding? Who the fuck gave you this? How did you get this? Grandpa store and grass and hey, hey, what the fuck was going on, baby? Come on, man. Hey, come on oh, in, man. What we got here? What's going on, Justin Timberlake? Right. I hear you. Come on in, baby. Come on in. What's going on, big dog? I hear you. Get your motherfucking ass in the goddamn house. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, I like what you're doing with the place, Appreciate man. it, appreciate it. Come on in, fella. What's good, Sit man? on down. I think we're all good on that. Where he at? Oh, Stevie, dude. Yeah. Trust me, he's harmless. I promise you that. He's fine. He's all right. Right, Stevie? You sure? We, we must got different definitions, all right? Yeah, he, dude, he's nervous. He don't do well with social situations, but he wanted to come. We let him come. He's here. We're just going to have to go... Marshawn, I don't want it to be a comfortable situation. Just imagine an infant seeing the sky for the first time, okay? that That's our boy, Steve. Mm -hmm. You know, you should never really face an infant towards the sky. You see, they use the benevolent sun as a focal wow. point. Wow. Okay, okay. Now I'm you really starting to worry about this chest of tea, little motherfucker here. Everything's fine. Ignore him. Harmless, wouldn't hurt a fly. Let's just move on, okay? I, it ain't a fly I'm worried about. Okay? All right, all right. Things just got stressful and real awkward. Yeah. All right, and I apologize, but let's get to what we came here for and try to get through it. Everybody cool with that? Y'all cool with that? Agree. Okay. There's some release Sorry, some stress, man. fellas. It's all good. It's all good. Listen, take a deep breath. We're gonna put a bandaid on this shit and we're gonna get it done quick. All right. All right let's do Come it. Come on. Yeah. <clears throat> but as soon as I get my paper, though. Yeah, for sure. The paper. Oh, the shit. I'm sorry. Now we're going in the right I don't know why it's so weird. We're just excited. Nah, you, hey, this, right here. Well, I know what that smell is. Y'all been selling ass on the corner to get this in. <laughs> I know that. He did a lot. Yes, sir. Hey, Marshawn, I appreciate the uh, the price you're giving us on this. It's, hey, it's a lot. all good, baby, but totally not necessary. You know, so I ain't even making that much off of y'all. Really, I got a new connect. She in town. She coming by later on. You shouldn't be here when she get here. But you know, I got the connect from Donnie. You remember Donnie, right? Oh, that ugly motherfucker. Yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah, what they call us. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. And it's, hey, it's some good, good, too. Oh, I heard it. Look at that. Yes. Good, good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, I know I ain't got to give y'all a fucking YouTube. Tutorial about them. Don't put it in the sunlight. And hey, you know you should never place hands in the sun. Get the fuck out, dude. Hey, we about to take your ass to the car. What the fuck is wrong? I don't know what the fuck's wrong with him. You got COVID. He fucked up in the head. Jury is still out on this one, Marshawn. But the more time we spend with him, the more time we all lean towards yes. Oh, you, you know what? You know who you remind me of? One of them cats with the fetal alcohol syndrome. They be cut, colored with rocks and stuff. Yeah, well, you miss a couple crumbs on both. <laughs> but it's all good, though. I understand. I got a cousin like that, too. My, my aunt keep him in the back. Yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? They just crazy. You can't look them in their eyes. I heard it's nice. I ain't never been back there. Don't want to go back there either. He got a little piss buggy, little shit buggy. He like a little baby, little piglet. <laughs> You all right? Listen, listen, okay. I got a joke for you, okay? Three motherfuckers walk into a room to buy a little bit of LSD, right? You got a national, a Jew, and a mentally ill One percent of gun-related deaths occur from accidental discharge. All of them are from negligence. Negligence is a staple of today's story. 
See, I told you to pour the car up to the front. Hey, you calm down. The neighbors are going to fucking years fool. Call the cops. You better hold him the fuck up. I swear to God, if I go to jail over the shit, James, you're you're the ass getting gaped in the shower. staring at me. I don't give staring a damn. at you? Staring at me. Here, how about this? Does that help? All right, well, we, we got to go. go. We got to go. Wait, 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 wait. Car, 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 car. Act cool. Act cool. Get him up! Get him the fuck up! He's falling! July 5th, P.T. Barnum's birthday. He may be dead, but the circus sideshow is alive and well in Lancaster, South Carolina. Stevie, what are you doing? Hey, we have a jar of LSD, and as you can see, a dead body in the back seat. Can you please act normal for once in your life? All right, so let's all calm down. How about that? Let's come up with a plan. Let's think rational about this shit. Then we can all get the fuck out of here. Well, Jamie, a good start would be, who knew about us meeting with Marshawn today? That'd be a great start to our story. He's a private guy. I don't know. He mentioned some Marty motherfucker dropping off some money. And I, I don't know. I'm Marty. I don't know. We're going to need a little more information than that since you're the one that knew the guy. Marshawn? Yeah, obviously I know Marshawn. On every move he makes and every fucking breath he takes, we don't be stalking each other on weekends and shit. But yeah, I know him. Can you wait for the gun? Look, here, give me the fucking gun. Give me the gun. You don't ever touch a gun again. Don't say the word gun. Don't look at a gun. Look, look away. What the hell is that? He just threw up on me. Is he still alive? Yes, he's still alive. Look, we need to just bite the bullet and take him to the hospital, okay? He's Steve, fucking to the hospital. Yes. If we take him to the hospital, we are done. That's it. I know you're thinking you're right mind, but we can't do that. Dude, look, I don't give a shit, okay? He's still alive. I'd rather take him to the hospital, okay? We're not gonna let him die. We? Yeah. Oh, this is on you, buddy. You shot him. You gotta think about that. What could happen? Dude, what? What the fuck happened? What are you doing? Jamie? What did you do? Dude, was, are you still alive? Are you serious? I mean... Why are you smirking? This is not even a laughing matter right now, Jamie. Why are you laughing? I'm not, dude. It ain't, I haven't shot someone in a while. Oh, really? Yeah. It's not funny at all. Dude, stop fucking smirking, man. I can see hey, you smirking. Hey, calm down. All right, breathe. I did what needed to be done, all right? I made an executive decision. I don't give a shit. As long as it ain't my mom, my boy's in a racker. You two motherfuckers, I don't give a fuck, all right? I did that to protect Stevie. We got to figure out something. We can, we can, Manley's, Manley's Tattoo Shop. Let's go there. Yeah, it's about three minutes up the road. If he's working. Hey, Stevie, I know where it's at, buddy. We uh, introduced you to the guy. Uh, I don't know if you remember that or not. I was like, okay. <sighs> all right, so. we'll, we'll go in there. That's not a bad idea at all. We'll get cleaned up. We'll go there. Everything's going to be fine, all right? Okay. We'll start all over, all right? Can we go? Yes, yes. <laughs> Sometimes being oblivious better is better than being aware. Yeah. Layla's called me twice already. Oh, 
but I do oh, not want her looking that. for things that she doesn't want to know. Awful. This morning, I woke up and May was naked on top of Jamie, and it smelled like a goat. So you know what a goat smells like? <sighs> no, not necessarily, but what you would think a goat would smell like, you know? You gotta stop digging into May. She's not that bad. You know what? It's not even May. It's Jamie. He's just like this gnat that just never goes away. It's annoying, and I need him to grow some manners. Give him a break. Plus, he's cute. No, don't. But isn't he, like, jaded from being overseas? That's not an excuse, right? Like, he uses that as an excuse, and it's not. He just needs to grow up. Why don't you just say something? Oh, I do, and Dex's not a fan of it. He, he gets mad at me every time it's even just playful. Have you told him about the soon-to-be baby bump? No. God, no. Um, but I can go ahead and tell you I'm not raising my fucking kids here. Well, you're going to have to say something soon. It's going to be hard to hide. Listen, I've left the pregnancy test in the trash can where he can see it. You know that? No. No. Well, I just a thing for that. No fucking tarot cards. Mm-mm. I was talking about binge watching. Hold on. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry. I asked if you know where Marshawn is, ma'am. This is very important. Yeah, I think you have the wrong number. I can't help you. guys, here's the plan. I'm going to go in and talk to Manly, Jamie. You come with me, Stevie. I'm going to have to try to like sneak you in the back just because of everything that's going on with you right now, okay? I do not want you to leave this car for any... Stevie, listen to me. Don't leave this car under any circumstance, okay? You got me? Give me a nod or something. All right. You ready? Do not leave the car. Instincts going no looking bad like a bat with a knot patch. All bad to the woods with a bad back. Front door. Okay. We all could have shit by now. How about letting go out of shit in the car? What's up, Manly? Nick, what's up? be a robbery. Give me the fucking money. Why do you have a gun? Sir, sir, put the Whoa, whoa, sir, me, you cisgendered ass fucking bitch. You don't even know my proper pronoun, pussy. Now give me the fucking money, manly. I ain't fucking with you, dog. I know you got some money back there. Fucking hand it over. That's right. What's this, like $60? Like 40 something, man. Shit. 40 something? How about 40 rounds? Up the crack of your ass! How about you? Little candy ass eating bitch, I bet you like that. Terry! Terry, this ain't no Terry, this this roof is motherfucker, this roof! Terry, put that gun down! I don't fucking, fucking know you, man! I know it's you, you just got that same tattoo on you, Terry, Terry bitch! This, this roof is motherfucker, roof it! Fucking roof it! I ain't no fucking Terry! Shut up. Oh, 
volatile like an aerosol can exposed to an open flame if i am the brains and stevie is the heart then jamie is the unwavering backbone of our brother Harcock? he took the fucking car oh, Manny. 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 what Manny. you need your keys buddy you my keys nigga fuck you i don't give me shit what's wrong with you my Manny, i ain't got time i need your motherfucking God, keys damn, jamie put the, the gun down you can. y'all are able to see things from my point of view and not think of me as vile and in turn I will try to do the same for you well it's been a bit fair skin but I love being outside gotta be careful about getting burned though No, no, no. Steve, stop looking back. Jamie, don't even think about touching that. Jamie, say No, Jamie, don't say anything. Steve, keep your mouth shut. I'll be careful about getting burned, though. What about you two? You scared of burning? Shakespeare once wrote that all the world's a stage, the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. Now, the metaphor here means different things for different people, but Everyone's role is defined by their importance to the story. 
I am unquestionably central to this act. You two will play, albeit smaller, none of the less important roles to this act. But I think that's a deterministic and increasingly bleak way of thinking about things. Rather, imagine that God has chosen to use you as instruments in his divine will. What are you doing? Just trust me. What? Oh my god. Hey guys, I saw you swerving back there. Ah, uh, how you doing officer? Yeah, spilled a little drink on me. Damn thing got away from me for a minute, scared the hell out of these guys. All right, license and registration, please. Officer, him. Uh, he's just a little clumsy officer. Don't worry. We're just trying to get about our day. We don't want any problems, All okay? All units be on the lookout for a stolen red convertible. Last known location is Skin City Tattoo. Hey, guys, I'm going to need you to go ahead and cut that vehicle off and put your hands on the steering wheel for me, okay? Sir, we were just... Officer. Like, his hand just slipped. We don't want any problems, officer, okay? Listen. I accidentally spilled a drink on my life. Guys, I need you to and work with me. we swerved, officer. We've had a long Gentlemen, day. Gentlemen, just do what I'm asking Sir, we're you to already do. late. Just if you can put your please. hands up on the dash for me, Sir, okay? Sir, we don't want any problems. Hey, Jamie, don't. Jamie, Show me don't. your hands. What are we you don't doing? Want... All of this just to answer a few simple questions. Let's start with an easy one. You. What's your name? You weren't in the picture that Carl gave me. You must be an unfortunate bystander. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good, good. All right, next one. Where's Sean? Excuse me, Marshawn. Where's Marshawn? I don't know. It's not the answer I was looking for, sweetheart. No. <laughs>
This was supposed to be Layla's. This was my mom's, my dad's mom's, her mom's before her. And I was going to get down on one knee and say, baby, marry me. It's a good thing that I did. It's her uh, fiance slash baby daddy would be facing some serious criminal charges right now. Wait, you say baby daddy? You? Another one for the court? Baby daddy? I mean, I don't know, guys. I found a test in the bathroom. I haven't had the balls to even approach her about it, but. I mean, to be honest, guys, me, raising a kid, yeah. as you can see, I can't even take care of my fucking self. Come on, don't say that, man. You're one of the coolest guys I know. You know what, Stevie, I'm one of the only fucking guys you know. Too bad being cool doesn't change the fact that I'm a complete fuck up. Jamie, you should just drove that car off the fucking bridge and ended it all. Look, man, hey, we can hang our heads low, or we can accept our position. I know right now, the position's fucked up. But fuck it. We gotta keep it. <laughs> you said but fuck it. You said but fuck it. <laughs> anyway, man, like I was saying, for some reason everybody thinks life's supposed to be, right? Sorry to break it to you fellas, but it's fucking life, all right? Life ain't easy, it ain't never been easy. Life is fucking hard, all right? So we can keep playing the blame game if you want, sitting around pointing fingers, but at the end of the day, fellas, we're still here, all right? Still together, we ain't dead. So, yes. what we can do now? Exactly, what do we can do now? Have you talked to Layla? No. I don't even know what to say to her. I, uh, I don't know. I've been thinking over and over in my head. I mean, how do you even start to explain? Stevie, why don't you just fucking go over there? We're talking to Steve. We gotta lose at this point, hell. I'm the last day as a free man. Yeah, do it. Do it. Anything I got you. I got a boo on my nose. What? Are you kidding me? Barely noticeable. Don't listen. Don't what fur to your nose is a boo boo for one, alright? But two, build some fucking confidence in it, alright? Anything. She's gonna see that shit on your nose. She's gonna say, that's a fucking tough motherfucker right there. That's a bad motherfucker right there. You gotta go over there with some confidence. Real alpha male and shit, right? Stevie, like a cool hand Luke and the Fonz were to have a child. That's you, buddy. You. Way up in the Fonz. Fonz? I promise. Come on. Bitch, go talk to her. <sighs> Fuck, here we go. Being a theme, I bet you think it's so cool. Being a Georgia and a living large, you can throw those sands in the air, but don't you throw them in me. There are two memory jammers down stall and a glamour in the place to be. Yeah. Get every man in the knee saying, Come on, baby, please, I'm in that you notice. Not me, little mama said to say, Cause you'll never be as bad as Opus. I see they on me. Did you guys see that? Oh yeah, we seen it. Dude, I can die happy man now. Stevie, you are a savage. Look, personally, I'm proud of you, Stevie. 
Show me some real confidence there. I mean, that was some real Pimp Daddy Stevie shit I just said. But you kind of you might, you, you need to. Just... Stevie, serious talk right now. We can't be doing stuff like that. We're talking like serious charges, okay? We got to take the creep vibe down from a 12 to a two, okay? I, I love you. You're an enigma, but we can't be doing that. Look at me, Steve. Steve, look at me, all right? You don't walk up and go straight for the titty, all right? You kind of work your way up to grabbing the titty, you know what I mean? I mean, the kiss, that was impressive. You go straight for the titty, uh, probably not so smart. But confidence was there, something we can work on. At least ask to grab the titty, because, I mean, it's a different charge for that, you know what I'm saying? But overall, on that note, gentlemen, I am sick of this pity party, okay? We are in this together. We are tied by the same shackles, and there are no other guys I'd want to be in this with than you two, all right? So let's raise our glasses and have a toast to the cruise crew of them all. To us, guys, all right? To us. We're going to get through this. Persistence is what got me here, to this very room, at this exact moment. Persistence will be chiseled on my fucking tombstone. The third and final thing needed to form any semblance of successful enterprise works seamlessly alongside those elements I previously outlined. Unfortunately, you and the rest of the 99% were robbed through evolution of the ability to do what is completely and utterly necessary. Well, fortunately for me, right? In the most basic sense of the word, can you snuff out the competition? Can you squeeze the life out of someone, looking in their eyes as their soul starts to flicker? My mom always said I had a cast iron stomach, and I'm inclined to agree with her. I'm trying to impart on you the knowledge that I will do whatever is necessary to get the information that I require, regardless of where that leaves you. Now, we both know that Sean met up with your friends earlier, but he never made it to any of his subsequent arrangements. And I'm not saying you know what misfortune may or may not have befallen that idiot, Sean, and hell, I'm surprised someone didn't drown that kitten in a river years ago, but you certainly know some information that can be valuable. Like, where the fuck is Jamie? Hey, you guys are the punchline of Marshawn's joke? I will gut you like a...
vulnerable moment and all I can think of is the last night we all got to spend together The notion of the swan song derived from the ancient belief that a swan sings before their death, their final effort and offering before the blackness hits. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. And it's been the ruin of many a poor girl and God, I know I'm one. My mother was a This is me suffering. The, the quagmire of the past mixed with the muddle circumstance of the present. It is said that no person can draw a perfect circle. There's just too many variables at play. A subtle jerk of the hand, the pen's alignment with the paper, 
or whatever other variant factor is at play. In this moment, <laughs> your beloved narrator has come full circle. refer to this day as fate, the immutable law of the universe, an inevitable force by which all force is conditioned and determined. There is a house in New Orleans. They Everyone involved in my legal arguments is dead. I was able to get out with three years of probation, an ankle bracelet, and more community service than Gandhi himself. Yeah, well, take care. In the formulaic Western movie, the sheriff always wins in a lawless land. Stevie, get over here. My most fond moments of my youth consist of watching old westerns with my father. John Wayne movies usually consist of a trusty steed. A beautiful woman with a tragic past, and they always end with a shootout. Everything turns out as it should, for better or for worse. Each turn of events lead us to our own fates. Lives were lost, lives were gained. Allow me this last moment to be a little heavy-handed. Come on, Steve, get over here. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, creeps in this petty pace from day to day, to this last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools, the way to dusty death. Out, out brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then he is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing.
Steve, did you say hi for the snap, baby? <laughs> oh, my man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bubba. Oh, it's coming more. It's coming more. It's coming more. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Okay, we'll be back. We'll be back. Love you, Stevie. Hey, how you doing today, sir? Hope you're doing well. We're here with the Take a Wish Foundation. And I know the weather here ain't what we like it to be, but we're hoping we can brighten up your day. As you can see sitting here, we got this sick son of a bitch and just... He, uh, he is a champion of sorts. He's been battling a deadly disease that has left him paralyzed from the waist down. It's, it's tragic. But as tragic as that may be, sir, for only $10 a month, you could sponsor this little guy. And look at it. He could use it. <laughs>